aspirants welcome to prep joy current affairs i'm swati nayak in our youtube channel we run you through daily current affairs quizzes from our prep joy app we put up a video every day so subscribe to our youtube channel click on the bell icon below to get daily updates so without any further ado let's get started the first question for the day is when is the seventh health card day celebrated the answer is 19th february when it comes to this question all you have to remember is Every year India observes the Soil Health Card Day to commemorate the launch of the Soil Health Card scheme. The second question for the day is recently in which country India will set up the first IIT under the latest trade deal? The answer is UAE. When it comes to this question all you have to remember is presently there are 23 IITs in India which are all located within the Indian territory. The third question for the day is according to the WHO announcement recently How many African countries will be given mRNA vaccine technology? The answer is six. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the six countries are Egypt, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, and Tanzania. The fourth question for the day is which bank has appointed Jamini Bhagwati as the additional director? The answer is IDFC First Bank. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is. Bhagwati's appointment is for a period of 3 years with effect from February 18, 2022. The fifth question for the day is recently passed away Surajit Sen Gupta was a famous the answer is footballer. When it comes to this question all you have to remember is he dominated Indian club football in 1970s with his unique style of wing play and mixing the art of dribbling with speed. The book for the day is UPSC General Studies paper 1 15 mark test. General Studies Paper One of the Civil Services Preliminary Examination is a set of hundred questions designed to test the aspirant's factual knowledge and analytical ability. The options given are also not easy to understand unless the candidate has done his or her homework with a thorough preparation. The fifteen mock tests given in this book are based on the standard and difficulty level of the actual question paper of previous years. The detailed explanation for each answer will provide the much needed background to each question. The book will be a much needed resource boost for last minute revision and preparation. Questions are a judicious mix of current and traditional topics, covers all important areas like polity, economy, science and technology, geography, environment and ecology, history and current affairs. The book also contains MCQs which the users can take. The price of the book is 298 Question for the day is where was India's first biosafety level three containment mobile laboratory started? The answer is Nasik. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is the mobile laboratory can be simply driven around to various locations like a normal bus. The seventh question for the day is who has become the new director of the Institute of Economic Development? The answer is Chetan Gatti. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is. His research areas include macroeconomics, monetary economics, economic growth, and the Indian macro economy. The eighth question for the day is: Recently, India and which country has organized the ninth Foreign Office consultation? The answer is Armenia. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: During the consultations, both sides had comprehensive decisions on bilateral cooperation in diverse areas, including political, economical, commercial, defense. Development partnership, capacity building, and cultural cooperation. The ninth question for the day is: Recently, Shri Kant Nadmuni has resigned from the post of non-executive director of which bank? The answer is HDFC Bank. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is: On Friday, HDFC Bank script closed 0.30 percent higher at 1,511 rupees a piece on BSC. The tenth question for the day is: Where has the career counselling workshop? For March 2022 started. The answer is Bikaner. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is more than one lakh students from rural areas participated in the event. Download Prepcha app from Play Store and App Store and get access to amazing e-books. The link is provided below in the description box. You get a variety of e-books from almost all the publishers of India. There are free and also paid e-books. Click on the link below and explore Prepcha app. The eleventh question for the day is: Who has become the new DGP of Maharashtra? The answer is Rajneet Sethi. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is 
the court had given the government time till Monday, February 21st to take a decision on DGP appointment. The 12th question for the day is, where has the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile recently been test fired? The answer is Vishakha Patna. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the missile is a joint venture between India and Russia, where the RDO represents the Indian side. The 13th question for the day is, which company's co-founder Rakesh Gangwar has designed recently? The answer is Indigo. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Gangwar and his related entities own around 37% stake in this company. The 14th question for the day is, who has become the first player to score a triple century in the Ranji Trophy 2022? The answer is Sakibul Gani. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Gani was absolutely sensational in his knock which featured 54 fours and 2 sixes. We have reached towards the end of the video. This is the final question for the day. Who will host the session of International Olympic Committee in 2023? The answer is Mumbai. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, this will be the second IOC session in India. The country last hosted an IOC session in 1983 in New Delhi. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments if you have downloaded Redjoy app. If you haven't, find the link in the description. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 6pm. Happy learning!